Hi everyone. Last but not least, let's look at uh, the actual analysis here of uh, the debt ratio. Uh, you notice here that it asks you for Nichols lenders require that the company maintain a debt ratio, a debt ratio no higher than 50, that 0 0.50. What that means is that uh, uh, the debt ratio, of course, uh, if you've been reading your book, is total liabilities divided by total assets. So what the lenders want is they don't want any more than 50 cents of debt for every dollar uh, of assets, of total assets. Uh, if, you, if you have uh, 50 cents worth of debt and one dollar of assets, then 0 0.50 over one dollar is exactly half a dollar, it's 0 0.50. So they don't, want, they don't want you to owe more than half of the assets that you own. Total liabilities divided by total assets. Uh, it says compute the debt ratio as of December 31st, 2014 to determine whether the company is in compliance with the debt restriction. If not, suggest a way that Nickel could have avoided this situation. Well, first of all, let's establish the formula. The formula is total liabilities. Notice it's not total liabilities in stockholders' equity. It's total liabilities divided by total assets. Not, not total current assets, total assets. And that's what debt ratio is. Uh, in this case, you can look at the balance sheet and construct the debt ratio because total liabilities is right here, nice and easy for you. And total assets is right here, nice and easy for you. You'll notice before we even start calculating anything that uh, they do have more assets than liabilities, so that should start uh, making somebody feel somewhat good. Uh, but let's see what the ratio is. If you divide 31,400 by 69,700, you get 0.45. Uh, be mindful here, it says to uh, round your calculation to the to two decimals. So it's not exactly 0.445, but if you round to two decimals, it's 0.445. And uh, the important thing to note here is that uh, uh, the 0.45 is below the 0 0.50. In other words, in this case, they don't want you to go any higher than 0 0.50. Uh, if if it was higher than 0 0.50, if this was 0 0.51, 0 0.56, whatever it happens to be, uh, then you would have a problem. Nichols require Nichols lenders require the company maintain a ratio uh, no higher than 50, than 0 0.50. Nickel is in compliance, okay, because higher than 0 0.50 is what is negative here. So if it was uh, 0 0.60, that would mean for every dollar of assets, they have 60 cents worth of uh, liability. Uh, but they have 45 cents for every uh, for every dollar of assets. And this is intuitive here. You can see that this is the liabilities they owe is less than 50% of this. Uh, generally speaking, the higher this gets and the lower this gets, the more trouble that the company's potentially in. Um, I notice here it said, if not, suggest a way that Nickel could have avoided this difficult situation. Well, one thing for sure is you want to try to keep your assets as high as possible. Uh, assets are created when you sell stuff. Remember, it's like an accounts receivable. Obviously, when you sell stuff, you create cash. Um, when those receivables are turned into cash, this goes up, and that's desirable for staying uh, no higher than 50.50. Uh, liabilities, keeping liabilities as low as possible also helps. So that's important to keep in mind. Uh, that concludes all the statements. Uh, this is a series of videos that I created, and I just wanted you to see the methodology used to solve this type of problem so you're ready on test day. I hope this helped.